When Alfred Hitchcock first saw Natalie Hedron in a 1961 commercial for a diet drink named Seago, he immediately felt the young model could be the next Grace Kelly. The budding starlet, now known as Tippi Hedron, was offered a seven-year contract by the famous director. But despite making her film debut in 1963's The Birds, her relationship with Hitchcock soured. I never wanted to be an actress, the 91-year-old recently told Closer Weekly. I was lucky he saw the commercial. He had a lot to do with shaping my career, and having him as my drama coach was perfect. Hedron claimed that Hitchcock became controlling as he groomed her to be a star. She described how despite being a celebrated artist, Hitchcock also had a dark side that was really awful. Every time I'd be talking with a male member of the cast or crew, my next exchange with Hitchcock would be icy, recalled the actress. If he was talking to a group of people on the other side of the soundstage, his eyes would be fixed on me, she added. According to the outlet, Hitchcock's behavior toward Hedron worsened. He allegedly had Hedron followed, drove past her house and at one point lunged to kiss her in a limousine, causing her to flee. After 1964's Marnie, Hedron refused to work with Hitchcock again, the outlet shared. As punishment, he held her to their contract, which prevented her from working with anyone else for two years. He ruined my career, but he didn't ruin my life, said Hedron. But Hedron kept going as a passionate animal rights advocate. In 1983, she founded the Raw Foundation, a non-profit organization that supports the Shambhala Preserve in California. According to Shambhala's website, the big cats were previously confiscated by authorities, such as California Fish and Game, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, SPCA, and the Humane Society of the U.S., from roadside zoos and private citizens. The animals are then provided proper nutritional, medical and emotional care as they live out their lives with care, under I simply look out my windows, and admire, the beauty of the Shambhala Preserve, she said at the time. There is nothing quite as beautiful as the view from my dining room window of Mona, a magnificent Bengal tiger, walking across her compound. We are unable to hold our regular tours here at the preserve, Hedron explained. This has caused a strain on us financially, as all these beautiful residents here must still eat and be cared for. I know how hard things are for everyone right now, but, we, would deeply appreciate any support. There's really nothing more to talk about, she explained. It was, a sad situation. It was a wonderful, wonderful time. I'd never done a film before and I was, I guess he saw a commercial that I did, and, he found out who I was, where I was. He then quickly put me under contract. And then to discover that I was going to be in a major motion picture was incredible. He and his wife Alma were my drama coaches. It was absolutely fabulous. And then he- I wasn't a young woman who fell off the vegetable truck, she continued. I was saddened that he did this, you know, that he decided to pull that card. I said, I'm not interested in this. I'm not going to fall for this. He kept pursuing it and then I said, I want to get out of the contract. He said, well, you can't. You have your daughter to take care of, your parents are getting older. And I said, you know, they would not want me to be doing something I am not interested in. I, he said, I'll ruin your career. And he did. He kept me under contract and wouldn't let me work. It was just one of those Hollywood nightmares. It was just so unnecessary. That's what was so awful about this. It was just, just a sad situation. Just sad. But anyway, life goes on. Despite the setback she endured after working with Hitchcock, the star insisted she has had an incredible life. I look back at my life and think how fortunate I am to have had the opportunities that have been presented to me, she said. My parents were really wonderful with my sister and me, 
and they taught us so much about life and how to hold our heads up high. If there is something that happens and we don't like it, there's a reason for that. You can tell if a situation isn't good. So I think what I was really trying to get across is, if a door opens to you and you like what you see on the other side, walk through it, she shared. If you don't like what you see on the other side of that door, slam it shut. I've walked through many of those doors and slammed a lot of them shut.